Hey, welcome back to AA Ron Reacts. And if this is your first time here, I'm as excited for you as I am excited to listen to this new artist because this Ren person who I was not at all familiar with, I got this message saying, yo, and I'm going to read it. Um, very excited. It says, it's time, AA Ron, it's time you treated yourself. Just trust me, bro. Just trust me. React to this. And then listed high Ren. And then they said, but it's important you ha you know a couple things. One, turn off subtitles. So I guess maybe they suck or don't work well. I don't know. Two, and then in parentheses, I hope my fellow renegades don't. So rene I, I'm guessing that's ren, ren uh, followers. Renegades don't hate me for spoiling this. Uh, this was all done in one take. Okay. Um, and there are two periods in a person's life. One is before they listen to Ren and two, well, you'll see. So that got me super excited. Like, this has got to be something spectacular. And so I, I wasn't familiar with Ren, so I did a super li uh, short little bit of research. And it says, Ren Gill, who goes by Ren, um, born in 1990, so 34 years old, is a Welsh songwriter, musician, rapper, producer, and director. He was a member of the indie hip-hop band Trick the Fox and British busking band The Big Push. This video that we're going to be doing, Hi Ren, was released in 2022 and got 6.8 million views in two months and received an honorable mention for best European music video. So bedridden for up to 23 hours a day, autoimmunity, uh, illness, it's, uh, psychosis came um, and uh, he was misdiagnosed and then later diagnosed with Lyme disease, which is very serious. So, I mean, this guy's obviously been through some things. Um, so yeah, I could not be more excited, honestly, be hearing this. I don't know. I mean, other than maybe when I started off and if you're new to this channel, this is, uh, I've been doing it for five months. This is, I'm at just over 250 videos and based on what I'm seeing and hearing, um, I can't remember being this excited going into a new artist or new video, um, as I am here. So this is Ren. Hi, Ren. Um, and it's a long one. This video is over nine minutes. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's on the wheelchair. Wow, the blood and the, the pig mask type of thing, slaughterhouse. Okay, I gotta stop there because that sounds like we're coming to an end of an intro. Um, what what a beautiful, I mean, the choice of some of these, um, you know, essentially chord progression and, you know, what he's playing and he's hammering way at that, that guitar. Um, this is interesting. Uh, it's different for sure. You know, I, I, I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. I'll back up about five seconds. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. 
And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much man I think we need to just step back and chill Ren, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you Been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to Okay, take another pill boy Drown yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this 10 step program Rejoice, all your problems will be gone Fucking dumb boy Nah mate, wow. this time is different man, trust me I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kinda doing bits too like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we We are one, split in two, that makes one, so you see oh! You kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are this your Grammys, brilliant. Friend? Nowhere Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected and the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself Trust me You should be so lucky Oh my goodness Are you freaking kidding me? This is brilliant on a million different levels First of all, his ability to keep rhythm through all of this with the guitar as he's seamlessly switching between this inner dialogue is what I'm gathering. I mean, you know, we, we, we know that based on my little uh, research that, you know, he said he battled with psychosis and he said his therapist and, you know, he keeps calling himself Ren back and forth and, 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 and talking to himself. So I'm guessing that's what's happening. And, um, you know, this, this, this struggle of you know, musicianship going to be something i feel like it's something that a lot of artists struggle with of not selling themselves out right uh, i'm connecting with my audience he said here um and you know it's a, basically you're full of it um you know you're more messed up than you thought you think you could separate me i'm you you uh, uh, i'm we I, I forget that whole line but that was just so powerful and the way he's delivering the way he's seamlessly switching back and forth i mean I see now why this person spoiled this and told me this is done in one take because we're only three minutes in and I'm already exhausted just listening to this. I can't imagine performing this. I mean, he's he's not only performing this, but he's he's playing the characters. He's seamless switching back and forth. He's rapping. I mean, these lines, he's spitting. Like, these are legitimate. Every single one of these lines is hitting. I mean, there's double entendres and just what and then the concept of this you know pain and the deep psychosis and what's going on in his conversation with himself and that you know what i've made some progress in and now i'm trying to understand that intro where it was like it was somewhat kind of normal but there were just these signs and senses of tension and distress so maybe that intro is his like outer layer how he appears to people right and and that's just you know he's he he, he tries to put it together again that's obviously just my interpretation at this point maybe we'll explore or discover that but like maybe that's how he puts himself together in the outside but then he switches to his inner dialogue so it's imperfect outside, but what's really going on is so much more. This is, this is next level. Lucky, having me inside you to get purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ran, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear when- Okay, I have to check this out though, because I've already done this, but you know, it said don't put uh, captions on. I've already heard this part. So I'm curious what happens when I do. I have to. And the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself Trust me You should be so lucky having me inside you to guide Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do something Look, it's my channel <laughs> I'm gonna keep it on Because there's so much going on Especially with the lyrics And so far it's been spot on 
Why wouldn't I? I mean, maybe there's some stuff that it blurs, but all I see is the guitar. And I don't see anything fancy he's doing on with his fingers. If if I feel like I might have missed something, we'll turn it off. But you know, I'm sorry, I'm not listening to you here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the subtitles on. I'm gonna keep them on. I you remind you to manage expectations, provide you perspective. That thing you neglected, I get it. You wanna be a big deal? Next Jimi Hendrix, forget it. Man, it's not like that. Man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with his subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not wow. original. Wow. 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 Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren. I'ma fucking kill me, Dan. Let's fucking have you, Ren. I'ma do it, watch me prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die. Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. <sighs> Newsflash. I was created at the dawn of creation. Whoa. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason, beheading all kings. I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, yes. the beginning of. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Oh. Hi. What the heck just happened? How do you even imagine that? Let alone putting it together, let alone performing it, let alone conjuring up this demon. And then musically, compositionally, right? Using, like, I believe there's tritones through that, which is kind of like this devil interval. So it's giving it that funky outside feel, but he's got this grooving beat and he's going so fast and right at it. And boom, 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 and build and build, 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 build. Ah! Holy cow. This is not music. This is an experience. I gotta hear, I gotta run that back. I gotta hear that again. Right here. And the way he changed his voice. And this is all done in one take. Get out of here! Get not when out I lock of you here! And the lights too! Oh my god! News flash! I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason, beheading all kings. I'm I am reason for with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill 
But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawned Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry When you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shape So cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a coin into different sides Going back to the beginning. Gosh, it's so deep. And so he stands up and he calls himself Hope. Right? And he starts actually singing. Dude can sing. And then we go to back to this beginning where I was originally thinking it's the outer self, which I still am not certain if it is or not. But now I'm thinking it's kind of the, the hope of the situation kind of coming through. Right? That the hope is stronger. The, the 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 fight, you know, the good is stronger than the evil that pulls you down, right? It's the old saying, sometimes it's easier not to. And that's often the case, uh, especially when you're bedridden up to 23 hours a day, right? I can't imagine how realistic to this life it is with the battles he's faced and going through psychosis and everything, like, and yet he's still on top. I mean, 6.8 million views in two months. This guy is special. Oh my goodness. And the symbolicism of every bit of this. Right? That fight, that struggle, that turmoil. And then you get literal for people with dealing with mental health and, 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 and issues tied to that. Um, you know, it's it's real. And, you know, I encourage you that, you know, if you or someone you know is battling that, you know, seek help. I'd like to believe that we're in a society that it's less, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm blanking on the term, a specific term I was looking for, but it's more accepted, right? Um, we've got more and more celebs stepping up to put voices like Simone Biles in the prior Olympics and, you know, all these things and, and, you know, um, employers, you know, claiming that, you know, a sick day is, is acceptable to use a mental health day and things to that effect. Um, and, you know, socialization of this and education is so vital. And messages like this are incredible. But, you know, this guy tapped into some creative, absolute genius um, that he's either had or maybe because of the sickness, he's untapped portions of the brain. And I, I don't say that in any kind of... Um, you know, demented or demeaning way, because, right, there are, you know, people that are autistic, for example, that are, you know, savants in certain areas where some areas of their brain are weakened, where others are completely highlighted. And I don't know if that's happening here, but what I see is absolute raw brilliance with what we're seeing so far. No ifs, ands, or buts. And just that little bit of standing up when there's hope and then singing and letting it out and just releasing and just, I'm the fight, right? It's almost like when somebody is possessed in a movie and they're saying, you know, I know you're in there. Come on out, fight it.
When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. Hmm. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. I'm shaking. The courage he has. The vulnerability. The brilliance. This was almost like um two or three act play transformed into a song right he's sorry <laughs> i'm a mess it's almost like he's redefining music and messaging I and mean, it's clearly art um but it's almost like a, a stanley kubrick film wrapped into a nine minute you know musical performance but this would be something that, you know, you go to some independent art festival um, and it, the person's up on stage and, you know, it's not a musical performance almost. Right? It's like a, a change agent. And now I totally understand what this meant by, you know, kind of two periods in a person's life. Because this just demonstrates how powerful someone with a voice and an audience can be and their message, right? It doesn't matter what kind, I mean, very few will ever have bigger struggles than what this guy's dealt with. I mean, can you imagine? Like, and how can he maintain that inner voice that's positive? And you know what? I'm not going to sell out. I'm connecting. We've got something going here. I'm making a difference. Right? I'm not going to just, you know, sign some record label, sell myself over to the devil, which, you know, I assume that that voice was the voice of the devil and, you, you know, using music that kind of speaks that. And then, you know, the lights that were lighting up and more and more, the more intense it got and more with the, you know, the demonic type of side or the bad evil side. Um, and yeah, now I'm taking it all in. Oh my gosh, this was done in one performance. Yo! How? I mean... Okay, let's just only, for one moment, let's only talk about the wrapping. That means I'm not talking about the, the cinematography and the lighting. I'm not talking about him switching back and forth. Let's ignore the fact that he's, you know, in a wheelchair and that he has all the physical ailments and the, and the mental challenges and the fact that, you know, 
he's actually singing through it and that he's playing the freaking guitar all the way through it all. Um, let's, let's throw all of that aside. Let's just take his rapping. I can only think of a couple rappers, all-time greats, that could rap like that nonstop without missing a beat. Period. And to just do that in one take perfection, that puts him right up there with like Eminem and like two others or something. Just from that alone. Now, go ahead and dare try to give Eminem... Uh, I think Eminem could pull off the different voices, um, especially if he rehearsed it. I think he could deliver it. I don't know if he would do it the same drama and certainly not the same personal connection as Ren. But there's a very, very small bit of audience. But then, now go ahead and give Eminem a guitar while he's doing that. Right? And now make him, I don't know if he's the creative director and what, but I think he, he does his own producing and stuff. Because I saw in the listing he's a producer and, and so forth. So now give him full creative control of everything and, and coordinating the lights and everything. Um, this guy is like a AI from 2050 put back into a human body that can't, 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 uh, can't perform at its fullest. I feel like we've got a new genre of music. It's like musical storytelling. It's, 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 uh, we've got a renaissance going here, right? Um, my goodness. I feel like my brain is exploding right now. There's a million things racing and I just don't even really know how to fully express it other than what just happened how is this even possible i feel like i would probably understand a lot more of it if i if i understood more of the psychosis or the you know psychiatrist perspective of this i'm really curious from your comments if you know if you've followed ren or you know if if you're a psychiatrist or you know psychologist even um you know any perspective there and and you know what the aspects are you know that tie into this um, and also, have I interpreted things correctly? Like, are there areas where maybe... He did talk about, um, at the end, about shouting into an empty room and almost as if nobody would listen. So maybe he taught, you know, early on he tried to listen and people would, you know, not hear him. Then again, he was misdiagnosed. So maybe that's what he is referring to. Um, he talked about this pendulum swinging back and forth and there's only darkness and lightness and, and, and nobody wins. Right. And, and that to me is super powerful, right? Like one thing that I've, I've been teaching my nine year old, seven year old kids is like, um, because you hear, hear some of it in, in, uh, the news and stuff lately is, you know, nobody wins in war. Everybody loses, right? Somebody might come out better, but nobody wins. And what he's saying here is this, you know, internal battle and this struggle He's learned that there is no, no victor. There's only, I feel like almost controlling it. And, you know, he was too rigid at first. And once he lightened up and once he accept, he said soften, but I feel like there's a part of that is once I accepted it, once I realized that this is the situation and now I need to figure out how to adapt and to change to it and make it my own, then I can make it work. And only then, but gosh, um, Amazing. Absolutely one of the best music videos I've ever seen. Period. Hands down. For sure. I'll say that right now. <laughs> one of the best performances I've ever seen. I've got to hear and see more of him. I just don't know what else to say. Thank you much. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do so now. Uh, you can hear and see more of this as well as others. Um, I thank you. I'm super, super anxious to hear your comments and feedback. Thank you. Take care.